Deep under the cold waters of the Baltic Sea, something mysterious has been hiding for thousands of years. A strange circular structure, nearly 200 feet wide, lies silently on the sea floor. It's not just a random rock. It has stair-like ridges that lead down into a dark hollow center, as if someone built it. It was discovered by a Swedish treasure hunting team called Ocean X, who were searching for shipwrecks. But instead, they found something that no one can fully explain even today. The team used sonar, which basically sends sound waves underwater to see what's down there. Now, when they looked at the sonar screen, they saw something almost too perfect to be natural, a round dome-like shape, sitting about 300 feet deep. Later, they found another smaller object close to it, which made the mystery even deeper. Soon, media around the world picked up the story. It even appeared on Discovery Channel, and people started calling it the Baltic Sea Anomaly. But when divers finally went down to explore it, something very strange happened. Their cameras stopped working, their lights flickered, and even their satellite phones lost signal. Only when they were right above the structure. Once they moved about 200 meters away, everything started working normally again. It was as if something down there was interfering with their electronics. These strange disturbances made many people wonder. Could this be something not natural? Some said it was a sunken UFO. Others thought it might be a leftover base or structure from a lost civilization. Now, to find the answers, researchers took rock samples from the site, which mostly turned out to be granite, gneiss, and sandstone. So, what they are trying to say is that this structure might be a natural pile of rocks and sediments shaped by glaciers during the Ice Age, and not something built by humans. But even if it occurred naturally, the shape looks too symmetrical and too organized, right? As some scientists said that the rocks might contain metallic traces that don't match the natural surroundings, and that's why the debate still continues. Well, more than a decade later, we still don't know the truth about this 200-foot structure under the Baltic Sea. Is it a natural formation shaped by ancient ice movements? Or could it be a forgotten relic, something man-made, or maybe something beyond our understanding? What you guys think about this, let me know in the comments. Dot.